Hey everyone and welcome to Commander Class. This is going to be the last episode on creatures and we are going over enchantment creatures. Next we're going to be going over planeswalkers so if you're interested wait until next week's episode. Before we go on to talk about enchantment creatures first a word from our sponsor. The sponsor of this video is me. I have started an Etsy page where I'm going to try and be selling clothes that I've design thought would be funny thought would be cool thought would be amazing on people's bodies so i literally spent maybe a month or two looking at different resources and stuff to come up with the nicest clothes i could possibly find with the coolest designs that i have done myself with stuff like play mats hoodies t-shirts i'm going to try and do phone cases they're harder than i thought but i do think that it is a really good thing to actually put into so if you would like to help me out or help the channel out please go onto my etsy it will be linked down below and you'll be able to find very nice clothing and also be supporting the channel so links down below and also if there's any other designs i will be putting on any of my social media so please follow me there as well so when it comes to enchantment creature, it's very easy if you've watched previous uh, commander classes or if you've ever played Magic of the Gathering. It is a enchantment and a creature combined as one. Pretty much it has the benefits of being a creature, but also has the benefits of being an enchantment. Now this varies in many different ways, so I'll be going over all of them throughout the video. So of course, since this is called commander class, the first one I want to go over are commanders that can be enchantment creatures. These are really good because if there's cards that care about how many enchantments you have and stuff like that, these commanders are the way you want to go. Or if there's like pretty much ways to power up an enchantment, you can also put onto this too. So again, really good cards, but you can get commanders just like Anakithia, Hand of Erebos, Amphimia, the Cancophony, Arasta, the Endless Web, Arvinox, the Mind Fail, Kalix guided by fate, Go Shintai of life's origin, Shigenki Jukai visionary, Kestia the cultivator, Scythus harvests hand. A lot of these are really good commanders and I've seen people play personally and I've seen people have them in their decks. Some of them are better in their 99 like the last one when it comes to playing an enchantment you get a draw card. It also counts if you play your commander. Really good cards but when it comes to enchantment commanders that are legendary the main focus is when it comes to this are the gods majority of these when they enter are enchantments and when you have their devotion you're able to have them as creature form they really are powerful and very good when it comes to commanders have these as a commander and have very good abilities but you can get god cards just like ethereos god of passage ethereos shrouds veil Aphria god of polis arabos bleak hearted Erebos, God of the Dead, Heliod, God of the Sun, Heliod, Sun's Crowned, Heliod, the Radiant Dawn, Eros, God of Victory, Kemetra, God of the Harvest, Keranos, God of Storms, Clothus, God of Destiny, Crudifix, God of Horizons, Mogus, God of Slaughter, Nyla, God of the Hunt, Nyla, Keen Eye, Ferechia, God of Affiction, Phanax, God of Description, Prephoros, Bronze Blooded, Prefros, God of the Forge, Thassa, Deep Dwelling, Thassa, God of the Sea, and Senegos, God of Revels. Again, when it comes to gods, they are very, very powerful. There's cards that really concentrate on gods themselves. There's lands and stuff like that that are very powerful. But the main thing when it comes to this is how how really good they are when it comes to kind of like some of the gods when it comes to command attacks just ignores it other ones are really good that when you do play them someone can't kill like if someone plays murder they cannot kill your god because some of them are indestructible or at that time some of them are, in, some of them are enchantments it is really weird and there's a lot of weird ruling so again if you're ever confused when it comes to a god card as a commander i recommend going on ask a judge next we're going on the normal part where these are just normal enchantment creatures that are really powerful and well known there's not much difference between these and the ones i've said except for these are non-legendary so you can have multiple versions of them these are a lot better in the 99 because a lot of these help with your commander if you have an enchantment commander but a lot of these are just overall really powerful cards that might be in some people's decks. So you get normal enchantment creatures just like Erigus of the Gods, Brune Santa, Chor Manticore, Corsair of Crudifix, Dryad of the Lysisian Grove, 
Nightmare Shepherd, Nixplume Ancient, Perplexing Chimera, and Sanctum Weaver. And now the last part when it comes to this are the Saga creatures. These are really confusing cards, mainly and only came out in Kamigawa. These are your normal enchantment sagas on one side, but when they're finished, they flip over and become creatures. These are really good cards because you get a double payoff. You get a saga, which is really, really good. When the saga goes through, you then get a creature, which is very beneficial, especially if someone on someone's end step, board wipes, and you're on your last turn when it comes to your saga, you start off with a creature. These are really powerful cards, and I actually wish I would see them more. The, the downside is, is there's more powerful normal creature versions of them. However, I do consider if you have a creature and the saga version is powerful and they're roughly the same, pick the, kind of have a look and decide which one out of the two would actually benefit your deck more. But you get enchantment saga creatures just like Fable of the Mirror Breaker, Hidetsu Consumes All, Invention Integration, Jugan Defends the Temple, Teaching of the Kernan, the Dragon Kami Reborn, the Kami War, the Restoration of Iganajo, Tribute to Horobi. Now that we know everything about enchantment creatures, let me know if there's any commanders you play. What are your favorite ones? Let me know if there's any downfalls or benefits that you prefer about them over normal creatures. While you're down there, remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, and all that YouTube stuff that every YouTuber asks for. But as always, if you like this video, I have last week's commander class here, a playlist with all the commander classes here, and a subscribe button here, and I will see you all in the next class.